So as I ask the question, do we actually forgive the person or our belief? Well, this whole world is a, is a belief system. Uh, whether you say we're, we're collective illusions in the world of separation, which is just a bunch of beliefs, believing in a world of separation from different viewpoints. Uh, or um, so a person is just a collection of beliefs and that I believe that the person is, is a person is also a belief. So you could say that the whole world is just made up of beliefs. So to forgive the person, uh, you are forgiving the belief in yourself because when you forgive something 100%, they disappear from consciousness. So the point of forgiving is that you no longer think about it. The thought, the belief that held it within your consciousness disappears. So if I 100% forgive, uh, who will I forgive? If I 100% forgive a relative I don't like, then I'll stop thinking about them because my belief that they exist has been deleted. And so, um, uh, and I don't actually believe that they are a person because, you know, they, they don't register as a person. They're 100% forgiven for the error I thought they did. They're 100% forgiven for being a body in separation. And, and if I forgive myself, then I'm not a body. They're not a body. They never existed and I don't exist. I'm in the eternal or the oneness, which is beyond beliefs and beyond the it's the perception, the ego perception that I'm real and that another person is real in separation. So once you delete, uh, but however, if I believe I'm a person and I believe they've done wrong, if I, if I forgive everything about them and I forgive everything about me, there is no me and there is no them and there is no existence of them and there is no existence of me. But at a fundamental level, what I'm um, at another level, you could say that the whole world would not exist if I delete all the beliefs in me, because there is nothing to believe in this world. You could say it's only the beliefs that mean that a world still exists for me. Um, I can explain that simply. If someone lets go of something 100%, um, let's say you've got 12 step groups where there's some 12 step groups where alcohol is something they alcoholics will let go of. And if they really do a good job of working a 12-step program with alcohol, you know, like when they were in their illness, they would see alcohol in pubs everywhere. But if they really let it go, they could probably go a whole day and not see any pubs, even if they're traveling around London, and not notice any alcohol the whole day. So if that can be done with just one thing, what if I did it with myself and the whole world? Then, of course, everything would disappear because there's nothing to hold on to and register uh, the stuff that I believe in. So that would be, um, that's the, that's, that's my answer at several different levels. Uh, the level of duality in believing I'm a person and they're a person at the level of the infinite. I have no beliefs on the person and I no longer believe in them. So there's nothing to forgive at that level.